Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys and today is another episode but the final episode on the BMW M235i that we've carried out an absolutely lovely sound system on. Today's video we're talking about tuning as well as giving you guys a full system overview of exactly what we've done in a load of detail so hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let's go. But before we get on to today's video, make sure you guys at home have subscribed to our YouTube channel because we've got a massive competition live on our channel at the moment. We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 as well as an Order Supreme amplifier. All the details are in the description below. However, let's get on with today's video. So let's start off then by talking about tuning. It's an essential stage of getting a car sounding absolutely amazing. In terms of the initial stages, before we get onto here, what was actually carried out? Once the install is complete, the car is put back together and all of the wiring is done and the products are in place, what we actually do is plug in the computer directly into the processor and set up on the configuration wizard on the Audison processor platform, we actually set up a basic setup which has a basic EQ, basic time alignment as well as the fact we actually set our filters that we want to be playing in terms of frequencies to each component so everything is nice and safe. Then the bedding in stage of the components does begin. We spend a couple of hours playing the system at a safe level, a very low volume, moving those components so everything gets a bit more freedom in terms of obviously it's a component that needs to move. Obviously that frees up the actual component a little bit more and then it comes over to this stage which is something called bit tune. What we've actually got is software and technology that listens to the car, listens to the environment inside the car. What I mean by that is obviously your vehicle is not identical in terms of obviously sitting inside the vehicle. You've got a steering wheel on one side, different trim and different materials across the vehicle. It's very important that obviously on the bit tune software, what it actually allows us to do, we've got multiple mics set up inside the vehicle, listening to the vehicle, listening to the sound stage across the vehicle with certain test tones. And what it actually does is analyzes that data and then produces diagrams and graphs that we can then edit and find tune later on. In terms of the actual software, it's all done via a computer. We've got microphones set up in the vehicle and that is imperative as a stage to get a car sounding amazing because obviously as good as we can do by listening to it by ear, obviously having that analysis and all of the data live in one place on full graphic EQ curves as well as all the filters and full time alignment is so essential. But obviously later on, we'll be actually sitting inside the vehicle and tuning the system by ear, fine tuning it as well to make it sound quality. With the electronic tune via bit tune all carried out now, what we've actually found is sitting in the car, listening to the car with our own music tastes and our own test songs that we use day in and day out. I've actually found that the tweeters were actually a little bit too sharp. So what we actually have control over is actually sitting in the car, fine tuning the system where I'm bringing those frequency ranges slightly down, just taking off the edge from those tweeters and also edging them off on the gain. So we're basically adapting and changing the bit tune software just to make it a little bit nicer and smoother sound inside the vehicle. But honestly, I really, really love the sound in this BMW. They sound absolutely amazing, way, way beyond the Harman Kardon setup. So in terms of what the system is, we've got a lot more tuning to basically do here. I'll be sitting in the car, fine tuning everything, adjusting everything to give a bit more of a smoother sound rather than that digital experience. But obviously every customer is different. That's why we generally get to know our customers via an audio consultation. Just like this customer came by, saw us, sat down, we went through everything in a load of detail, roadmap the actual system, and then we get the perfect experience for our customer. In terms of that quality, in terms of sound stage in the vehicle, that a lot of it comes from the actual higher frequencies, and that's what we're talking about right now. In terms of 
of what we've got here is the Audison Prima Tweeter live in stock location, as well as we've got a four inch driver in the door. In terms of these stock locations, and the reason why we've gone into stock location is because this system that we've actually done in terms of the components, in terms of the tweeter, four inch and drivers underneath the seat is actually what's called a direct fitment. So it goes into stock location without any damage done to factory panel work or clips behind the scenes, as well as connectors as well, which is really nice, which means it's completely reversible. We can move the system to the next BMW and your investment into that gear is all retained. But these higher frequencies are now being dealt with by these new components, way, way beyond that Harman Kahn setup. But this car did come in, obviously, with no sound, as you saw in episode one. If you haven't seen episode one, make sure you check it out. Link for it is up here. In terms of this system, it came in with no sound, but originally the car was actually specced with Harman Kahn, but the diagnostics has been done. Now the car sounds absolutely phenomenal. Obviously, you saw earlier on in today's video the tuning element and actually getting the sound stage correct and actually tuning it fine tuning it. So we actually brought down these tweeters and the reason why we're able to bring just the tweeters down is because we're running what's called a fully active sound system. A fully active sound system means each channel of an amplifier is running directly to individual components, which what that means is it allows us to adjust frequency response as well as time alignment directly from each individual component like the tweeter. The four inch driver in the door is actually providing a lot more mid range and mid base performance than the Harman Kardon system. And it's a four inch woofer that again, sits in stock location, hidden out of sight, but sounds way, way better than the Harman Kardon setup. Now we've talked about that beautiful sound stage across the vehicle by talking about the tweeters as well as the mid range performance in the vehicle. Now to add some depth of sound into the system. And that is all carried out again, completely hidden out of sight, but also reversible so we can move the system to the next BMW, we've actually got under seat subs in a stock location. We're using what's called an Audison Prima 4 ohm 8 inch driver, which sits directly underneath the seat I'm sitting on, as well as the driver's seat, giving a really nice sound stage and a lot of depth moving forward into the vehicle. We have actually got a designated sub in the vehicle as well, which is a customer owned supply product. But in terms of this component here, is actually designed as what's called a mid base, as well as adding a lot more depth into the system and that sound stage now is really nice and full sounds absolutely fantastic now it's time to talk about amplification and the power that this system has it's all running off something called an audison forza amplifier it's an eight channel amplifier with nine channels of processing power built in to the class d amplifier what this amplifier does is eight channels of amplification with 85 watts rms per channel and an absolute powerhouse of an amplifier that is completely hidden away as well as fully reversible and can move out of this car and move into the next car. In terms of the amplifier, it's completely hidden away in this location here on the bottom left-hand side of the boot, out of sight, out of mind, but it sounds absolutely phenomenal. One thing I also want to show you guys is actually we've added in the customer's own Alpine sub that he had in his previous car. We've actually taken that out and moved that into this car, which is really nice as well. And this is an example of how systems can be interchangeable between vehicles. Yes, it's that time again you would have heard me talk about it plenty of times guys something called soundproofing what is soundproofing it builds a better acoustic environment for the new sound system to work in gets rid of those awful rattles and resonations that nobody wants as well as actually reducing some of the road noise that you get as well what we've done is added on our skins three mil layer acoustically deadened this entire door on either side as well as some areas in the boot reason why we've actually done this door is actually to build a far better acoustic environment for that four inch driver to play in plus obviously loss of sound is then limited too because basically a speaker doesn't just play one way it plays both and that excursion of the cone basically moves sound all the way across the vehicle moving it backwards and forwards at the moment with no soundproofing what was happening even on the factory component works in a similar way those sound waves are going back behind the actual speaker itself rebounding all over the place and you're actually getting loss of sound through that metalwork and causing resonation which you're actually hearing and that's where elements of distortion can also come in soundproofing that vehicle then allows for that panel to be deadened, make it really, really nice and solid, as well as the fact what happens is that's got a reflective material on the other side of that. And then when sound waves hit that, it rebounds and heads right back into the vehicle. So you're making the most of your investment in getting the best sound stage possible in the vehicle. We are all wrapped up here on today's episode, but also on the whole series on the BMW M235i. The car came into us with no sound, just to recap, but now we've got sound 
but not just any sound, it sounds absolutely lovely. I'm really happy with the finished product. The team have absolutely smashed this one out, but I'm sure the customer's gonna be over the moon with the finished product. If you're interested in something like this, guys, we've got a BMW designated page on our website. Go check it out. Link for everything you guys need to get in touch with us is in the description below, but every single system, guys, is customizable. We sit down, go through things with you via, via what's called an audio consultation, completely free of charge. You bring your car down, we sit down, we go through everything in so much detail. Consultations literally vary in time between 20 minutes up to about an hour to spec everything with you. So make sure you come by, meet us, see where your car's actually gonna be worked on, which is really nice. You can see how much space is allowed between each car, where your parts come off your car and go onto the shelves. So everything is nice and safe in terms of your asset. And obviously, you know, your vehicle is protected while it's here with us in Cambridge. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget guys, like and share this video with friends and family and please guys, remember hit that subscribe button as well as hit that bell notification thank you so much for watching we'll see you all very very soon <laughs>